early age, I had a dream to someday be a National Hockey League player, and that came to fruition. And played a thousand games in the NHL, had a thousand points, won a Stanley Cup, an Olympic gold medal, was a seven-time All-Star. But while this was all going on, I was raped 150 times by a coach of mine. I really just wanted to go for a walk, bring awareness to this subject, hopefully empower other people to come forward and tell their truth. There's always a way out. It depends how vulnerable you want to be. Purposely, I didn't do any talking in interviews. You know, people have to talk while they're walking. So I think that's the special thing about the documentary too, is that you get to feel like you're on the walk. Hearing those stories is what, what kept us going, gave us the fuel. When you realize how much you're helping them, it's what kept us going. <laughs>